Well, uh, just a little bit more about uh, what happened in my last video that I uploaded, which was about the UFOs in Scotland. Um, almost um, while I was uploading the video, actually, I did kind of witness a spiritual battle. Um, basically, when I was I was looking out the window, um, I, I just saw a very large, um, bright object, and then it was being attacked by a dark object. And it was like a spiritual battle that was happening. It was like light and darkness fighting or something like that. So, uh, you know, these things are, we're all spiritual first. If you if you just remember that, that the battle is, is always spiritual. It was a spiritual command that Eve broke in the beginning. And then it manifested to the physical because the glory of God left Adam and Eve. Okay, and they had to leave the Garden of Eden. So then it was manifest in the spiritual and then it was manifest in the, in, in the physical, okay? And uh, I think the atheist religion tells people they should reason and logic with things which you can see. But that's only... The Bible teaches um, quite a lot about the carnal nature, actually. But the Bible really teaches us that we're spiritual beings. And, uh, I mean, there are what you would call esoteric religions in the world that also teach that. But what they teach is um, basically... And occultism and uh, the Bible just teaches faith in Jesus Christ it's a confession of faith whereby spiritually we are born again and therefore we don't need to worry about um, you know all the stupid little um, laws and things in the New Age movement and other types of religions you know about what socks to wear on a certain day and stuff like that okay that's um, well and <laughs> uh, that can be a little bit uh, neurotic, I suppose. That's the word. But uh, at the end of the day, um, this channel, of course, it, it teaches that um, Yeshua, that Jesus Christ, is the, the son of the only one true God. And that God himself is one. Okay? We, you know, the Bible also teaches that uh, sometimes David says that he's the God of God. So he insinuates that other fallen angels call themselves gods men worship them as little g-gods but that Yahweh is the God of gods that Jesus Christ is the son of Yahweh okay the creator of the universe the Bible also teaches that um, Jesus Christ was present at the beginning at creation that he was the word of God that he still is the word of God that's very important to remember that um, he came down as a as a as a physical fleshly man and was resurrected again um, given a new body but a fleshly physical body but it was actually um, transformed um, into the, the likeness and image of, of the invisible God if you can just wrap your try to wrap your mind around that um, I really don't believe that Yeshua um, has to physically um, upkeep his, his new body but then again I don't know because after Yeshua was resurrected, um, he did eat fish. He did cook and eat with the apostles like at least two or three times before he was actually um, ascended up into heaven. So that's another very interesting question. I mean, obviously a spirit being can't eat food. So Yeshua was just showing them that um, his new resurrected physical body, yes, he can't eat. But he did make a vow before he went to the cross that he wouldn't take any wine. So it's almost as if uh, until the new kingdom is manifest on the earth, okay? Um, so that's like a 2,000-year-old um, Nazarite vow. And we know that um, Nazarites can't touch the fruit of the vine, any wine, alcohol, um, that type of thing. But um, spiritually you gain strength. Um, Samson was a Nazarite, of course. And one of the things that he kept was he not only didn't um, drink any wine, but he didn't actually um, cut his hair. So, um, 2,000 years have gone past since Yeshua made that Nazarite vow. Of course, he wasn't a Nazarite when he walked on the earth and taught the apostles. He did drink wine. Um, he, he, he obviously didn't do it um, in, a, in a large quantity, but he did do it so as to speak to the publicans, to speak to the people about God. 
to see if, if they were actually uh, God was um, being spoken about and discussed um, by the people of these days in which back in that time there wasn't sports teams to discuss you know there wasn't all the things now that Satan has actually in, invented and put into this world so that when people go to church all they want to talk about is TV, movies, sports um, very little about God actually but back then the people really did discuss quite a lot about God and discuss their beliefs and re reason things out and that's why you know the Jewish people are still known today um, to try to reason with one another about the scriptures um, it's a very common saying that if uh, you know there's three different Jews in a room then there's four different opinions so that means that um, God loves um, people to come and uh, reason with him it's written in the book of Isaiah come let us reason together and uh, that's why I haven't actually um, you know I haven't actually regulated any of the videos that I've made even though some of these videos there have been very bad comments but um, basically you can see all my videos are still there for free speech and I'm very much in favour of that and um, if you really want to teach true spiritualism then just read the bible just read about um, being born again and uh, basically putting the holy spirit on the throne of your life and uh, so that basically all the fruits of the spirit can manifest in your life and uh, we only do that through faith in jesus christ um it's very interesting that um, in Judaism they talk about um, these fruits manifesting and, and how well they actually keep the Torah um, there are, I'm, I'm not sure of the percentage of um, Torah observant Jews these days but I think it is quite a fairly low percentage um, definitely talking under 50% I would say maybe under 40% I'm not quite sure of the percentage and yet their very heritage suggests that you know that they love to um, not only read the scriptures but discuss them but again um, probably um, just certain orthodox and maybe reforms, reformed Jews um, do these things today but uh, anyhow um, that's all I got for you just now um, thanks a lot for listening and still supporting this channel may the Lord bless you